Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the workshop. Um, Cam the Hedgehog here. And today I have a bit of a special treat for you guys. Ooh, yes, a phone case. No, that's not what we're looking at today. Today, looking at this. This is a gosh knows how old Makita cordless drill with an integrated battery that my dad bought years ago for $50 at the local Sears. What the date is, I don't know. Can anybody read that? Can anybody find a date on that? That would be awesome. Either way, this thing was old. It has this old nickel cadmium battery in it. And the point is, you recharge this battery, and you recharge it, and you recharge it, and then when it stops holding the charge, when it goes bad, oh, well, you're supposed to throw away the entire drill. This battery went bad a long ago. My dad's just kept the drill ever since, so I decided I have... I will clean it up. So I've cleaned up all these parts you see in front of you, but this was a problem. Because what is a rechargeable cordless drill without a battery? Again, the point was, the battery went kaput, you threw out the drill. Well, that's not what I decided to do. So, what do I do about a bad battery that doesn't hold charge? Well. Good old Amazon to the rescue. Bought this a few days ago for about uh, $25. Delayed shipping, you know, because of the whole coronavirus thing. I'll have a I'll talk about that in a bit. From a uh, company from in California who makes apparently somewhat custom batteries called Expert Power in Paramount, California. Look, a human being's check mark. That's interesting. But look. Those, that is the model number of my drill. This is a replacement battery. So, for $25, I got that. Fancy little box. Oh no, made in China. Oh well. We'll see how this fares. Got the battery. Oh. Oh, warnings, warnings. We'll read those later. Who cares about those? get to the meat of what's been shipped here. And this is a nearly identical replacement to this battery. Only difference is this is nickel metal hydride, which is far better than these old batteries. So, this is the battery that will be going into this, which I'm going to rebuild in this video. In the meantime, however, I want to talk about the charger. This is the original charger that came with this drill. And I thought, oh, well it's 4.8 volts, 360 milliamps. And I did a bit of research and I figured out, oh, that should theoretically be able to charge this battery. I'd have to time it so it doesn't overcharge it, but it would theoretically work. Well, come to find out, this does not put out for this does not output 4.8 volts DC. This outputs six and a half volts DC. What's on here is a lie. So that's nice, Makita. So as much as I would love to use the original charger, I cannot do that, so Unfortunately, you won't be able to see this in action until a later date because, of course, I have to go and spend $15 on a new charger from, you guess, you guessed it, China. Anyway. <clears throat> so, with a fresh battery and freshly cleaned parts, I guess the only thing we have left to do is rebuild the drill. Oh, one more thing. This is the uh, grease I'm going to be using. The old grease that was in here was just all hard. It was literally hard and crusty. Um, I don't endorse Lucas, because I'm don't even. i a small YouTube channel. Don't even have 100 subscribers yet. But I will say their products are fantastic, especially this particular grease. I use it all over the place. And this is what I will be using to grease all of these gears. So, yeah, I bought this for 5 bucks at Lowe's. That was before, we're not allowed to go outside anymore. 
Excuse my dog, she likes to bark a lot. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the rebuild. All right, everybody, let's get um, right on with this rebuild. So, first, I'm going to uh, read some of this gearbox. So, this needs to go this. Yes, okay. So, I'm going to do a mock assembly here. All right. Um, sorry, I was gone for a bit. I took a little bit to figure this out. So, all right. Let's install the first gear. I've had a, a um, syringe full of grease here. Pardon how awkward this is, but. Get the grease off. Gotta get these bushings a little greased, but not all the grease. but you can if you want to, I suppose. I'm gonna add more because I just realized that I have enough clearance to do so. So that's one bushing done. Now we get to do this gear. Of course now has bits of goodness knows what on it. And yes, this is grease, despite what it may look like. Now I get to do this. This is going to be exciting. This is why human beings invented paper towels. It's for uh, sticky, greasy situations like these. And for reference, there is no such thing as too much grease, no matter what anybody tells you. Do not believe the lies. Swap out my paper towel. All right, I'm gonna be entirely honest. That was most of the hard work, right there. That nice. Okay. All right. And now we can put a uh, the. Uh, assembly in.
All right, now we're all greased up. All right, here comes the one of the tricky parts. So, installing this. Right, you gotta do it like. There we go. And yes, you are not seeing things uh, weirdly. Um, that is a genuine Omron switch right there. Because this was back from the days when you, uh, when you, you when people actually used good parts in their uh, devices. One. And switch is probably the hardest piece to get in correctly. Oh no, maybe it's this. Alright. Total pain in the rear end to reassemble this. What, oh, what might the issue be? There we go. Yes, these things are up. Uh, Monstrously finicky. Where is my screwdriver? Ah! There it is. I need a bigger screwdriver. Use a flathead screwdriver. I'm flathead screwdrivers. And what's surprising is that this manual actually does not belong to this drill. This is a model 6043D drill on um, the label's off right now. And this is a manual for 6041D. I believe the 6043D is a rather obscure variant of the model that's on here that has a keyless chuck. Because my dad, who once owned this drill, claims that he never, this was the chuck that came with this drill when he bought it from Sears, and that he's never used any other chuck. Which leads me to believe that this is a obscure variant, because I cannot find anything about it anywhere, of the 6041D that has a keyless chuck. But everything else about it is the exact same. And the main hint to that is that it uses the same manual, the same charger, and it has the same casing with a place for a chuck. So, yeah, this is a rather odd piece of equipment that we have here. OK. 
come on. And uh, the new charger for the new battery has been ordered, and that's coming next week. So. Seems uh, very sturdy. Well, I didn't have to use this tube at all. I was able to use my really sketchy grease gun, and now I have pieces of stuff everywhere. All right. Put this battery back in the box for the time being. I tested it off camera. Yes, it does work, thankfully. Um, so negative side needs to be down. going to be more difficult than I anticipated. Hmm. Come on, need those pliers, you got this. There we go. The negative terminal is not as troublesome. At least it hasn't been as troublesome for me. And then you just kind of cram the battery up in there. And you seal this up. There's a reasonable amount of torque for a drill its size. Wow, the motor smells like when you first turn something on because this hasn't been used in so long. Seems to have more current going forwards than backwards. And right here I have the uh, Makita brand label. And then I'm working on reprinting. That will be a different video as well, because supplies are for that. They're in the mail as well. I'm working on reprinting the back label. Back label was in horrible shape. Half of it was rubbed off. I have the original label here. It was just very bad, so I made a... Uh, I made and printed, they're somewhere, reproduction labels made by hand. So, but I need to use a spray adhesive to ha uh, put those on, and I don't have any spray adhesive, so I'm waiting for that to come from Amazon. But for the time being, that is one drill restoration.